Hello everyone! Welcome to Inside Kairos video tutorials. Beyond format and resolution independent, Kairos can meet any production requirements. It offers unrestricted flexibility of input, output and operation for an efficient live production. Helge, could you please explain the resolution workflow of Kairos? Yeah, unlike a traditional video switcher on Kairos, the only thing I need to specify is actually the frame rate of Kairos. Um, from here on, it will auto-identify the input resolution, the input uh, frame rate. Um, the same is true for the output side. And in the middle, I'm doing all the operational part in any free canvas resolution I need for my production. But doing this as an example might be much easier. Helga, could you please explain how to work with Canvas and fit specific resolution in Kairos? Okay, let's do that. On Kairos, let's have a first look into the input settings. On my input settings, you see that grayed out um, area for each and every of my inputs. So this is just indicating and auto sensing what feeds that input regardless what format it is. Is it 2110? Is it SDI? Is it a stream? It will auto sense the signal and um, shows it here in that display. On the output side, I can determine, regardless what is the frame rate um, of the incoming stream and what is my operation, operation frame rate, um, this is what I want to feed out to my in each individual of my outputs on Kairos. It could be any of the frame formats, it could be any of the aspect ratios of the typical broadcast formats. Okay, is there any specific format of Canvas that we could be used? Especially when we go into the operation of scenes, um, the operator has a free, free mindset in that respect, saying you want to change the canvas resolution. So I prepared a new, I insert a new scene called it widescreen. There's nothing special to this at the moment, saying, okay, it's background, there's one layer sitting on top, I have the two RAM recorders running in my background. And um, into my resolution over here, I can typically take this drop down menu saying it's 1280 by 720, or if it's 1080 straight, or if it's a 4K resolution. But with canvas size uh, installed, uh, canvas option installed, I have those advanced resolution settings. Let's build something which is not typically 60 by 9, let's make it a 30, 32 by 9. I simply enable uh, the resolution over here and set, I call this 3840 by 1080. So I can use those sliders or I can use those entry boxes and type in a numeric value um, and then also present this um, on the screen. So when I'm going to my layout over here and saying I want to put this um, on my left uh, white screen over here, so I have this widescreen scenario over here. You see in my RAM channel number five and RAM channel number six, and one of them is now feeding that background. And going in here and preparing my scene, I will introduce a new um, item I can insert into a scene. It's called a new layer group, which is more like a global group, so to speak. So I call it left, and into my left group, I will insert a new layer. And this layer is considered to be my background in that image, my new background, like a picture-in-picture -picture image. So I call this Beast Pip um, and give it a different color, saying I want to have a mindset of bluish. And uh, inside that blue, I enable this one and full black covering the background. So I want to have my clip players here instead. So I go into my source options and the very first thing I want to insert here is my clip players, the two channels, and I will see those clip players appearing here just to get you the idea of what I'm doing here next. Now in my next layer, in my layer group, I want to insert a new one, call this the frame. And in the frame, I want to give a source in here, which is coming from my stills. Go to my stills section and look into my stills, fill in key, and I find the border for this and surrounding the image. Now I have a composite of this already, but you get the idea how this is all work and insert a new layer finally and put a graphics on top of this. So with this graphics, um, just to get this idea also, we'll take just a very simple one. Uh, I go into my stills again and use my fill and key object over here, use that Panasonic logo and put this in here. However, even this color here should get, let's say, like a Cyan type of color style. I can take all these objects saying this graphic here I'm going to my transforms, should be somewhere here belonging to that image. And the frame, I can also move around and whatnot and do the same thing with the pip. However, the layer group itself has the same capabilities. So I want to go to the transform here. So I resize the image, I reposition the image, 
and drag this around to the left hand side. In a generic ME world, this is typically two ME stitched together just to form the 32 by 9 kind of aspect ratio. But here I simply create my new canvas size. And then from here on, I can just move these object around. So even though, again, Photoshop style, I take this entire left group, say Control Z, Control V, just copy and paste this beast and say, this is my new center object. Center object over here, and then just drag this off. And I'll have a duplication of it. I changed the background cross point in here saying, this is supposed to be, um, let's say another input over here and change the color of the frame. Now I can now tweak and tune this a little more uh, to make it more fancy and that the edges are fitting and everything. So I prepared an effect in my templates over here called this the widescreen final. Um, I can go to the scene itself saying my, my left box over here, just take the transform, just drag this all across the screen because it behaves like a global channel. Uh, if the director insists that he wants to move the, the graphics inside the box, I simply go to the graphics layer and just move it inside to the box, move it in here. And that's how we built. And can you show how we can feed this to the outputs, for example? Yes, we'll do that. Um, well, let me start with the layout of my multi-view over here, recalling that setup. So see AUX3 and AUX4 is taking the same uh, widescreen final as a source to be uh, monitored within the AUX buses in my multi-viewers. Um, however, the default setting for the AUX bus is actually to make an auto fit of the screen resolution into this, the canvas size of my output. So in my advanced settings, you see there's auto fit is check marked. So I take the check mark out and you see, whoop, now it starts with the first pixel in the upper left corner and start writing that screen. When you compare that to the screen in here, which is representing a 32 by nine white, I can simply drag this on and off to any position in that screen in here. I can even go into a zooming into the image and zooming out of the image like that. So I set this back to 100%. Um, and even though saying, okay, the left portion on for projector number one, for instance, or the LED wall left, um, it's on the left side and aux number four does the almost the same thing over here. Also disable the auto fit and just push this to the other side. And this is typically how you build this on a generic switcher. So it's ME1 on the left hand side and ME2 on the right hand side and try to mix and match the objects. Here, simply, even when I go back into my scene, the world's over here saying, take my left box and take the left box transform. Um, I just simply drag this around and it will appear automatically on the other screen position without me having tracking objects and stuff like this. Um, even though if my projector probably doesn't support um, the um, edge blending mode, so I'm going to my side over here, I enable my crop effect. Um, in the crop effect itself, cropping off the right edge, just drag the slider, it will appear sooner or later. And then the advanced settings for my edge softness only on the right hand side. So I apply just some softness for this corner and I do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode of Kairos Insight Tutorials. Thank you.